Resiliency is one characteristic that most animals are known for. They can survive in harsh conditions that humans cannot begin to imagine themselves in. Some are known to survive in very cold environments, whilst others in very hot ones. In today's video, our focus will be on the former, as we take a look at the animals that can survive and thrive in freezing temperatures. Make sure you're seated, comfortable and warm, because just hearing about what some of these animals go through might make you shiver. Let's get started. The Musk Oxen also known as the musk ox, this animal is an arctic hooved mammal that welcomes sub-zero conditions. This large bovine is known for its thick coat which helps it survive freezing temperatures. The outer layer of the musk ox covers up the second layer, therefore insulating the undercoat that helps the animal withstand the terrifying cold. In addition to its thick coat, the musk ox possesses tough and hard hooves which it uses to scavenge through snow and ice for food. Like many animals in this video, they also huddle together to keep themselves warm and protect the herd from predators. Some of the regions where the animal can be found include Arctic Canada and Greenland. The Arctic Hare Just by the sound of its name, you can already tell that the Arctic Hare was made for the cold. They are a species of hare that is highly adapted to living in the Arctic tundra and other icy locations. Very similar to rabbits, the Arctic Hare has long ears. The only difference is that theirs are shorter. The short ears of the Arctic Hare help it save body heat, while its thick coat keeps it warm at any time of the day. The most surprising thing about the Arctic Hare is that it doesn't hibernate as it faces winter conditions for most of the year. Rather, it digs burrows underground to stay warm. During the coldest months of winter, they survive by feeding on plants and twigs. They too huddle together to keep warm. Noticing a trend? And their white fur acts as camouflage from their natural predators looking for a quick meal. The Snow Leopard It's not every day we get to talk about the Snow Leopard, however today we are afforded that luxury. Also known as the Ounce, this is a large cat that is native to the mountain ranges of Central and South Asia. Snow Leopards are known for their distinctive multicolored thick fur. Their beautiful coat has tones of white, yellow, black, grey and brown on it. Oddly enough, the markings on their fur aren't just for show, they act as camouflage to help them hide from their prey. Compared to other leopards, what makes this animal perfectly suited for the cold are its thick coat, furry tail and furry paws. Instead of huddling together to keep warm, these predators feed on smaller animals and make use of the heat transferred from them. The Walrus Most of us can already guess this, but walruses are well adapted to the cold. They typically live at the North Pole in the shallow waters of the Arctic seas, feeding upon shrimp, soft coral species and a variety of mollusks. The walrus is a large flippered marine animal with distinctive whiskers and tusks. They use their long tusks to make holes in the ice and to help them pull their heavy bodies out of the frigid water. Some of you might be wondering how does the walrus survive freezing temperatures? Well, it's quite easy. Because of their large blubbery bodies, they can keep warm in freezing waters, where the temperature is below zero degrees Fahrenheit. Arctic Ground Squirrels Have you ever heard of an Arctic Ground Squirrel? I think not. They are a species of ground squirrel native to the Arctic and subarctic regions of North America and Asia. They are also referred to as parka squirrels because their pelt was historically good for the warm lining of parkas and clothing. The animal has a beige and tan coat with a white spotted back. During the winter, Arctic ground squirrels undergo a change that involves their coat changing color from red to white. When it comes to surviving the cold, Arctic ground squirrels have a rather unconventional way of doing it. They use animal hair, lichens, leaves and the ground to provide insulation for their long winter hibernation. Unlike many other species in this video, instead of huddling to share warmth, Arctic ground squirrels sleep for about 7 months at a time. As the animal sleeps, its body temperature drops to just above freezing temperature and its heart rate slows down until its body slips into a long-term sleep, reawakening when warmer days emerge. Gentoo Penguin Penguins are the masters of the cold, no doubt. However, Gentoo Penguins take that statement to the extreme. They are a penguin species in the genus Pegacellis, the most closely related to the Adelie penguin and the Chinstrap penguin. They mostly live on coastal plains and cliffs where their colony's number can rack up to over a thousand. They have a mechanism for surviving the cold. Gentoo penguins try their possible best to avoid the ice and stay in the water where they feel most at home. They can dive up to 650 feet deep at speeds of up to 22 miles per hour and stay submerged for up to 7 minutes. By avoiding the ice, they also stay away from their natural predators like the leopard seals, sea lions and orcas. Polar Bear Tough as nails, polar bears are the perfect biological machine to survive in the cold. 
They are hypercarnivorous bears and are found natively within the Arctic Circle encompassing the Arctic Ocean. Polar bears are the largest extant bear species as well as the largest extant land carnivore. They have many qualities allowing them to survive the harsh icy conditions of their environment. One such mechanism is their thick white fur that not only helps the polar bear blend into its surroundings but also traps layers of air that keep them warm. To protect it from the icy waters, the fur produces a fair amount of oil which repels the water from their skin. Most importantly, the polar bear has a thick layer of blubber under their skin that provides insulation for the conditions on the icy tundra. Snowy Owl Also known as the white owl or the arctic owl, this is a large white owl that is native to the arctic regions of North America. They are one of the largest species of owl and they are the only owl with a large white coat of feathers. It has several quite unique adaptations to its habitat and lifestyle which are not common to other owls. During the winter they are known to get whiter and as the snow melts, their feathers turn to brown. Unlike other owls, the snow owl has to hunt both day and night to make up for the scarcity of prey in the cold. With that, we have come to the end of today's video. Which of these animals would you trade homes with? None? Didn't think so. Share your thoughts with us in the comment section below.